Take it easy. Take it easy. This is all wrong. I'm going to jail. Or hell. Or hell jail. What's for lunch today? You're lies. No! That's what we had yesterday. Hell jail. That's the theme of today's story. This is the J-Man. I'm the jokester. And if you watched our last video, you know that Jason wrote a story where the Koopalings and Bowser Jr. went to heaven and met Jesus. <laughs> At the same time, Mauser and his friends, the Super Mario Brothers 2 enemies, went to hell. Well, this is the sequel to that first story. The first story was called The Religion Adventures, and this is called Mauser and Beelzebub. And uh, hold on to your butts, because it's out of control. Right, J-Man? Right. <laughs> okay. I will point out that this is, this is part two of the previous episode, but this is also the 22nd episode of the fifth season of the Koopalings and Bowser Jr. show. The television program Jason has been writing for many, many months now. Mauser and Beelzebub. The narrator starts and says, Previously on the Koopalings and Bowser Jr. show. And it cuts to Bowser Jr. He says, Church was fun. Hey, what happened to Mauser? <laughs> uh, then it cuts to Mauser, Triclide, and Clawgrip, who are in hell, in a hell jail. And they're sitting in a pile of sausages. So not only are they in, in jail, in hell, a hell jail, which, I guess, does that have regular bars, or are the bars made of flames? Bar. Okay. And red. Are you trying to eat your sausages right now? What are you I'm sticking your hand in your mouth? So, uh, Triclide says, where are we? And Mauser says, I don't know, we're in jail somewhere. And Mauser begins yelling, help, please let us go, we're innocent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Claw Grip says, let's file down this bad boy, meaning the, uh, j the doors, the bars. Maus Mauser demands to know who's in charge. Okay, who's in charge? And a devil who's guarding them says, Satan is, also known as Beelzebub. Meanwhile, back at the Koopaling's house, which is not in hell, Junior asks, uh, so how did, you, how did you and Mama meet, Papa? Bowser says, well, you see, Junior, we met at the cafe. <laughs> then Morton busts in and says, hey, Wendy, do you want some Danishes? Wendy says her famous line, no, I don't want any of your gross, disgusting food. That's Wendy's catchphrase, according to Jason. Sure. It's... Healthy. She eats, she eats healthy. So lots of vegetables and fruits. Yeah. Back in hell, Mauser says, "How can we meet Satan?" Uh, the devil they're talking to says, "You have to take a long way." In the distance, a demon screeches. Uh, so they get out of the jail cell, and uh, Mauser says, "It looks like we got to swim through this lake." So they start swimming through the lake. Then a, a demon bird swoops down, and Master says, Oh no, a demon bird! But they, they manage to tame the crazy demon bird and start riding it. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the Koopaling's house, uh, it's time for the family dinner. And over the family dinner, Junior says, uh, I wanted to tell you guys, Mauser's in jail. And Bowsette, uh, his mother, and Bowsette's, Bowser's wife, says, Good, I don't really like that guy. Yeah, me neither, says Wendy. He's the worst with all his dirty pranks. <laughs> and uh, Morton says, well, clearly he's not as dirty as me. And back in hell, Mauser, Triclad, and Clawgrip are still riding the demon bird. Shh. Mauser says, let's check out the clouds. Suddenly it starts raining blood. Triclad and Clawgrip stick their tongues out. Stop it, says Mauser. That's not water. 
Also, it's a good thing that these demon birds are liquid proof. Mm -hmm. So they're like ducks, right? They can, the liquid just rolls right off them. They arrive at Satan's house. We're here, says Clawgrip. Mauser says to the demon bird, thanks for the ride. <laughs> they go inside Satan's house. Uh, okay, we're in. Uh, check out all these demon folk, Triclide says. Now, but then they also notice once they're in Satan's house, there's a long line to meet Satan. Because <laughs> he's like Santa Claus, I guess. Mauser says, oh great, another line. Clawgrip says, well, it appears we just have to wait. Mauser's not having any of that. Mauser uh, goes crazy. He kicks a demon's head off, throws another demon's head into the fire. Uh, that demon screams really loudly, and then a stalactite falls down on yet another demon. Then Mauser takes out a knife and starts stabbing an entirely separate fourth demon. So he's just going crazy. And this is, but this allows him to get close to Satan. Mauser walks up to Satan and says, Are you Satan? And Satan says, Yes, I am. And you have committed a murder in my dimension. For that you shall pay. Don't worry, there's tons of fire here to keep you warm. <coughs> hey, Clawgrip, says Mauser. Could you pass me that rock? Okay, here you go, says Clawgrip. The rock is enormous, and Mauser says, Oh my god, this rock is too big. Get it off me. Get it off me. It's like a boulder, not a rock. I got you, says Clawgrip. Back at the Kuvling house... Junior says, now how do we open up the dimension to hell? Iggy Koopa says, I'll look it up. <laughs> Meanwhile in hell, yeah, it doesn't, it's kind of strange that they kind of all don't like Mauser, but they're trying to save him from hell. Uh, I guess that shows you that the Kooplings are actually good, and they'll try to help even someone they don't like if, if they're in trouble. Um, Mauser says, I want to be like you, Satan. <laughs> Satan says, okay. He snaps his fingers, and Mauser turns into a devil. That's not what Mauser had in mind, so he starts screaming, No, that's not what I wanted, Mr. Satan. Satan says, Do you want a demon friend? You're crazy, says Mauser. Triclide turns into a sandworm. Look at me, he says. No, 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 says Mauser. Back at the Koopling house, uh, Iggy says, Okay, we need a magic wand. So they decide to go to Grouser's castle to get a wand. And Grouser's the evil opposite of Bowser. So the Kublings are doing. The Kublings are working with an arch enemy to save another arch enemy. That's really something. I guess they're just humanitarians like that. So they go to Grouser's castle, and uh, they see a magic wand. And Junior says, "There's a magic wand." And Morton says, "Let me go talk to Grouser." Back in hell, Mauser is really freaking out. He says, I can't take this anymore. Claw Grip turns into a rock monster. <laughs> well, well, this is a great life, says Mauser. Triclide says, don't worry, we'll get out of here. Back at Grouser's castle, Morton says, we really need that wand. Okay, fine, says Grouser. Here you go. Morton says, thank you. Here we go, says Iggy. Back in hell... A giant hand suddenly appears in hell. <laughs> and Mauser says, what's that giant hand? The giant hand grabs them and pulls them through the dimensional gate. Oh my god, we're back on Earth. Iggy turns Mauser, Triclide, and Clogger back to normal and closes up the portal to hell. <laughs> Satan screams, ah, I'll get you. <laughs> Mauser says, now let's go home. The end. That was a very creative and exciting episode, Jason. I don't... I mean, Jason, it's the fifth season, and you want to do three more seasons. I don't know where else there is to go. The Kooplings have been to heaven. They've been to hell. Uh, they've been to China. They've tried broccoli. They've been to outer space twice. Uh, I mean, what, what else are they going to do? They met the Misfits. They met Gilbert Gottfried on Christmas. They met Gilbert Gottfried on Christmas. Is Gilbert Gottfried ever going to return? Gilbert Gottfried is going to come back. Thank God. Bye. <laughs> Bye. No more revelations. Those are all the spoilers you're going to get about the Koopalings and Bowser Jr. show. Just stop. You're getting carried away. Just stop it. Stop. Just, oh boy, I envy you.